Good Monday afternoon, everybody. I'm meteorologist Tim Pantages with your Atlantic Tropical Update here on November the 1st, the tail end of the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. And we've got a named system out there. It's been quite some time since we've had a named storm out in the basin. This is subtropical storm Wanda plus two other disturbances that we're keeping an eye on for potential development. All right, by the numbers, we've got 29 days left. The season wraps up on November the 30th. 21 named storms so far this year. So we have completely exhausted the primary list of names. It's only the third time that's happened. 2005, we went to the Greek alphabet. Last year, 2020, of course, we went to the Greek alphabet. This year, no longer have any primary names left. Now we go to a secondary list. If you remember, we no longer are using the Greek alphabet to supplement our naming list if, in fact, we do need them. Four major hurricanes so far in the basin. No hurricanes out there right now. Wanda is a very weak subtropical storm at the moment. So what exactly is a subtropical storm? Well, that storm contains characteristics tropical and of both tropical and non-tropical systems. So they're sort of a hybrid system. Now, the characteristics of them, they can form over tropical or subtropical waters. And as you'll see where Wanda's located, it is well in the northern Atlantic. Strongest winds also are usually calculated and found far from the center. Now with hurricanes and tropical systems, most of the time you're finding the strongest winds, the closer you get to the center, the deeper the pressures, the stronger the winds. And they're also less symmetric of the wind field. You know, they'll be lopsided uh, than tropical systems you'll find. So here's a look at the Atlantic Basin tropical system names. We've used all 21. Wanda is the most recent name. And here is our secondary list of names. If in fact we do need them, any other name storms will come from this list. Adria, Braylon, Caridad, Deshaun, Emery, Foster, and Gemma. So here's a look climatologically of the hurricane season. We start off quiet. We ramp things up at the peak around middle of September or so. We remain quite active in through the middle of the end of October. And then we see a big decline in activity as we head through the month of, of uh, November. That's not to say we can't have some activity popping on up. We certainly can, which is why the season goes through November 30th, but much less active than we were, say, a month month and a half ago when we had several named systems out there in the basin at one time. So here's how Wanda looks. Again, a subtropical storm, very disheveled looking. You're finding it being very lopsided, asymmetric. And of course, the winds are found way from the center of being the strongest or so. For some context, here's the coast of Africa. Here's Portugal and Spain. Here's the Azores Islands, and here roughly is where the center of Wanda is. The track on this going forward takes it to the east and then eventually to the north. It does maintain its strength for that time, even though it's progressively moving towards colder waters. But again, remember, it's a hybrid system, so it doesn't get all of its energy mainly just from the warm ocean waters. It's going to get it from the changes in temperatures, the frontal features on this too. And then as it moves to the east, maybe impacting the Azores Islands as we get towards the weekend with perhaps some gusty winds and some rain squalls moving through there. On the other hand, we've got two other disturbances out there, both of which don't show much promise of developing and getting that first name on that secondary list. One here in the Southern Caribbean, 10% within two days, 10% within five. And another wave here out off the coast of Africa, which you can see most of this is drawing to the north, about a 10% chance both of those time frames as well. So nothing imminent in terms of any development in the next couple of days. So that's the latest, just that update on subtropical storm Wanda that will be petering on out within the next five days, not really impacting any land. If you have any questions on tropical weather or anything else weather-wise, you can find me on social media, on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday.